I've been thinking uh, recently about the God I believe in, the God that I've been pursuing, following, exploring, um, trying to get to know um, over most of my life as it happens. And uh, it occurred to me that that's something that all of us um, might benefit from doing, just reflecting on who this God is, who we believe in. And my first thought around that, and I'll try and share a series over the next uh, few of these vlogs, is that if we go back to Genesis, Genesis 1 verse 26 says that God created us in his image, male and female, he created them. So what is it like for us to be created in God's image? Who is this God who creates us? Well, he's obviously a creative God because he created the world. Now, whether we believe he created it in seven days or it took longer than that, I'm not really too worried about in this situation. But this God is creative. He's a God who, who, uh, who created us, who is passionate about us, who wants to be connected with us, which we'll unpack a bit more in some of the other uh, thoughts around this. But let's start with that thought, this creative God. And if we move from that Genesis 1 passage to Genesis 6 and think about uh, the, the description going into the flood uh, and Noah, we see this creative God um, described by the writer there as having his heart filled with pain. So this God is not somebody who's aloof and disconnected. He hasn't set creation up and then stepped away from it and watched it play out from a distance. But he's somehow connected with this creation because this heart that was full of love towards us and enjoyed his creation and said it was good, six chapters later, has a reaction to his creation that has chosen to go its own way, to do its own thing. And this God now says his heart is filled with pain. So this God is not somebody who's distant and removed and static in that sort of Greek understanding of God, like a statue, impervious to the things that we're doing, but is integrally connected to us and feels the things that we feel and uh, can have his heart changed and, and impacted by the way that we react and respond to him. So that's my starting point, really, for the God that I believe in. I wonder what your starting point would be if you were describing the God that you believe in.